Are you looking to get updated SEO data for a list of keywords that you already have? Well, if that's the case, you have made it to the right video. That's exactly what we're diving into today. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I'm Mariah from MariahMagazine.com. And on this channel, I help simplify things like SEO, websites, tech, and I dive into tools and recommendations to help you grow your online business in a way that works for you. So in today's video, I'm just gonna show you an easy way to get updated SEO data for a list of keywords. So I got the idea for this video from one of my clients. So when I do like SEO consulting with clients, sometimes it's just a one-time SEO strategy intensive. And so we'll do keyword research on that call, but a month later, three months, six months, a year later, sometimes clients are like, uh, Mariah, can we get some updated data for these keywords? And so I wanted to create a video that kind of walks you through how to bulk upload keywords into SEMrush and SEO keyword research tool that I use and be able to get updated data for those keywords so you don't have to start the SEO keyword research rabbit hole all over again, okay? So let's just head over to the screen share. Okay, so like I mentioned in the intro, I'm gonna be walking you through how to do this using the SEO keyword research tool, SEMrush. You can probably do something pretty similar with another keyword research tool, but I'm using SEMrush because it's the one that I pay for, it's the one that I use all of the time for clients, and it's the one that I'm the most familiar with. So if you want to give SEMrush a try and you want to be able to use this using this exact tool, just know that it is a paid SEO tool, but I'm an affiliate with them, and so you can click the link in the video description below and you can get access to a free 14-day free trial. And if you've never used SEMrush before, I also have another video where I walk you through how to to do SEO keyword research using this tool. So if you haven't dove into that yet, I will leave that link to that video in the video description box below. But let's just get into this tutorial here. So I am going to walk you through this using like a super old list of keywords from a previous client. As you can see, this was from June 2020. And so when we're optimizing a website for SEO, we definitely don't want to go off of data from many, many years ago. Okay, so as you can see, this data, this list is just living in a Google spreadsheet. That's usually how I handle my keyword list with clients. Some people use Excel, some people might use other ways of handling it. This just makes it really easy. So basically what I do is I would take a look at the keywords and let's just scroll down here. I'm gonna click shift on my keyboard just to highlight all of these keywords right here and then I'm just going to copy them and then when we come over here to SEMrush we're going to go under keyword research keyword overview and we're just going to paste the keywords in here so it says right here to separate the keywords by commas. So like if you just had like a paragraph of the keywords listed out, then you would need to separate the keywords by commas so that SEMrush knows like where one keyword stops and one keyword starts. But when you copy it from a spreadsheet, it already takes kind of like this list layout. And so it makes pasting pretty easy. So you just paste them in here. Notice we can only paste up to a hundred keywords. If you have more than that, then just do this a couple times. No biggie. So then make sure that you are choosing the right database for your country and then click search. I'm interrupting this video really quick because I created something super awesome and I want to share it with you. So if you need help planning out your SEO keywords for your blog posts, for your product pages, for your homepage, for any page on your website, then definitely check out my SEO keyword planner. It's a five page editable workbook created in 
in Google Sheets that will help you brainstorm, organize data, and strategize your keywords accordingly. I include tips, best practices, and examples to help you get started. Click the link in the video description below to check it out. So if we scroll down a little bit here, we start to see the list of keywords and we can see that the data has been updated. And the reason how we know that it's been updated is because on this right hand side, we see when it was updated. So a bunch of these were just updated last week. Some of them were this week, but you're probably going to run into some situations where it hasn't been updated. So if it's just a couple of them, you can click this cute little refresh button right here. And then SEMrush will go ahead and will update the data for that specific keyword. Sometimes it does take a few minutes, but if you want to kind of bulk update some of them, like let's say you have a bunch of them that have like NA or just haven't been updated in a while, then you can go ahead and just click the box right here and then you'll be able to check mark all of the ones that you want to update. And then we can click this button up here in the right hand corner, update metrics. And so when we click that, we can either update all of them or we can just update the selected ones. And so you're probably wondering, okay, Mariah, well, why wouldn't we just update all of them? Well, because depending on the SEMrush plan that you have, you only have a certain amount of keywords that you can update for data monthly, okay? So if you're using this tool on the regular, you might have to be aware of that. So after everything is all good and updated, we can go ahead and export this file. So if you have less than 100 keywords, you only need to click this export button and you're basically good to go. So you can export it into whatever file type you need and then upload that new updated SEO keyword data wherever you keep your SEO keyword data. But if you have more than 100 keywords, the other option here too is to bulk select all of these keywords. And I don't think it's going to let me do it right now because I'm screen sharing and it's being weird. But basically you could bulk select all of these and add them to a keyword list. And then you can re like you can add your other hundred keywords and then click analyze and it'll run this again. And then you can update them and add them to the same keyword list. And then in order to get to the keyword list, I said keyword list a lot. And then in order to get to the keyword list, you can click here and click on the keyword list from this section right here, or in the left-hand menu, you can just click keyword manager. And then you can do your updating here on this screen, or you can do it when we were doing it this way, whatever you wanna do. And then you can just click export and it will export the entire file, I think up to like a thousand keywords, okay? So if you have more than a hundred keywords that you're looking to have updated data for, there's a couple different ways to handle it, but I did want to mention that. So that's it for today's tutorial. If you guys want access to my affiliate link for the free 14 day free trial, then click in the video description box below to go ahead and to snag that. If you found this video helpful, give me a really quick thumbs up. Truly it does help the YouTube algorithm and I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions about anything in terms of SEO, in terms of keyword research, in terms of using SEMrush, then definitely leave me a comment below this video. I used your comments and questions to be able to inspire new ideas for this channel. And if you haven't yet subscribed, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button, turn on bell notifications, and I will see you in the next video.